plant people. Today I have a pretty fun, different video for you guys. I thought I would give you a tour of my greenhouse, which is right behind me. Um, I recently just got it and I thought I would just talk a little bit about it and I thought I would just tell you about all the plants that are lucky enough to be in there because it is just a wonderful place inside. <laughs> And I don't know, I'm just, I love it and I'm just really excited to show you guys. So if you didn't know, my name's Jen and I make plant videos and I want to start making other kind of plant related videos as well. And I'm just getting started here on YouTube so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So before I show you what's inside, I guess I'll give a tiny bit of a backstory on this. I actually just got this for my birthday, which was April 10th, so about like two weeks ago. And I had a greenhouse before this one, which was totally different. It was plastic and, you know, one of those cheap ones that you get on Amazon. And this is a glass, pretty decent uh, greenhouse, so it's definitely a lot different and I will do a whole separate video on the difference between my like cheaper plastic greenhouse and this expensive glass greenhouse. I think that that'd be like a really really interesting video if any of you guys like have those um like plastic ones if you're thinking about upgrading to something that looks a little bit nicer i think that that would be a really cool video to make so comment down below if you would like to see something like that so i got this one from ikea and it was about 199.99 and i had it shipped here and it came perfectly i will link it down below if you guys want to see the exact one i got but i'm not going to go too much in depth into the actual greenhouse um today i think that'll be a different video today will be the plants inside the greenhouse so with all that being said i think we should just get right into the video or else i'll keep talking so. okay so starting on the top shelf right in the back here i have this fern which i stuck in i think this is like a silver lace fern um and I stuck it in here because it just put out these two really long, like, growths. And I really just want it to continue to do really good. So I know that it will love the humidity. So he's just in there in the back. And then this one, which you obviously cannot take your eyes off of, is my Philodendron Varicosum. Doing awesome. This is its newest leaf. And there is the new leaf coming out. And you can see little hairs. So yeah, this, this plant is doing really good and really loving the humidity of the greenhouse. This plant, I don't even know what it is anymore. I don't know what it is. Is it a red emerald? I don't know. But um, I don't know. It's really bothering me that I can't like tell what it is. I bought it as a pink princess, but obviously I don't think it's a pink princess. I think I got gypped. But yeah, she's in here too because she likes the humidity, so. And then right below her, I have this little Peperomia Frost, which I grew from a baby. So she's just in there in this little pot. Look at that shine on her. Awesome. Then behind my Varicosum, I have my Philodendron Melanochrysum cutting. Um, which I took off of my big plant, which I will do a whole different video on. But yeah, I'm just trying to get this guy to put out roots because he has aerial roots, as you can see. But I'm waiting for them to put out that white stuff, you know, the white roots, the good ones. So I just have him in this little jar. Next up, I have my Anthurium silver blush i don't know i'll put it at the bottom i've seen different names for this but i absolutely love it look at the sparkle on that wow and then i have a, another little peperomia frost propagating propagation that i made 
and she's doing awesome. Here's my beautiful variegated burl marks philodendron um, doing really good. You can see that new leaf she just put out that has a lot of variegation, which makes me nervous, but it's beautiful. And you can see the condensation on the back here of the glass. And there I just have a little maiden hair fern, which I recently put in here just to do better with the humidity. Next up, I have this um, pitcher plant. It's a Nepenthes something something. And right back there, you can see I have a new pitcher. Here's the older one, but like back there is a new pitcher. So I'm really excited. So there is my top shelf. Second shelf has this Syngonium Pink Splash, which is putting out new leaves, slowly but surely. They're looking really good, so Syngonium Pink Splash. Then I have my Marble Syngonium here. Trying to give him some humidity as well. And then here I have my Confetti Syngonium, which is like really one of my favorites because there's just so much variation within the leaves. Like each one's different and it's just really cute. Like I really, really, really love this Syngonium. Next is my Syngonium Albo Podophyllum, which is just a beautiful plant. I am struggling with the whites on this, as you can see. Um, but it really is beautiful. I'm hoping that she'll give me some more greener leaves because this is her newest leaf, which is so white. It's so beautiful, but it's not going to make it. So she just put out some green leaves. Here is a Monstera ansoniae, which I just wanted to um, speed up the growth on her to get her more full. So I have her in here and it definitely is working. She's putting out like lots of new growth, as you can see. And then behind her, I have my Philodendron Micans, which is doing just so, so awesome in here. And you can kind of see here, like the roots are growing on this stick that I put in there. And I think that's just so cool. So yeah, this Micans is just doing awesome. Growing like a weed. I'm gonna have to take him out. And then I have this Sissus Discolor, which I'm trying to save <laughs> and I have a little humidity meter and as you can see the humidity is at 90% so that's pretty freaking high and I have another little geode here and then lastly on this shelf I have some begonia cuttings well propagations which are doing really good look at those little leaves so beautiful so that was that shelf Next shelf here, I have my Philodendron, I think it's Macaulay's Finale, um, doing really, really awesome. Look how big and beautiful this leaf is. And then he has another one coming right there. So uh, yeah, he's awesome. And then here is my Philodendron Prince of Orange, also doing good. Here's his newest leaf, huge. So they definitely, definitely love the humidity. <laughs> and then here is my cute little Hartley fern, which I literally thought I killed, but then it came completely back. It was completely dried out, but um, yeah, so I shoved her in here. <laughs> then next, I have this Calathea ornata. which I've been struggling with as well, but I think she's really, really um, loving the humidity in here because as you can see, like, she has no brown tips or anything. So yeah, she's doing really good. And next to her, I have my Calathea Zebrina, which I absolutely love. She's just doing so well and it's just a beautiful plant. Love her. <laughs> and then... I also have this Calathea Peacock, which I've been struggling with, but she's put out new leaves since she's been in here. She's putting out this new leaf right here. So, I don't know. Like, 
What does this mean, guys? I think I'm giving her the wrong water. Or something with the soil, like the minerals, or I don't know. But I want her to do good. But this lovely lady, my Calathea Rose Picta, is really doing great. This is a really easy Calathea, in my opinion. And she's doing so awesome. Like, that's such a beautiful plant. So she really loves it in the greenhouse as well. And that is that whole shelf. A lot of Calatheas and philodendron. And then lastly on the bottom here, I have my polka dot plant, which I actually just planted into this pot last night. These guys do like humidity, so they don't need it, but I think they like it. <laughs> And then back there, I just have like a kiwi plant, which, oh my God, is just my enemy. And then here I have some lemon seedlings, which I grew from a grocery store lemon. If you wanna see the video on that, um, I will leave it linked down below. But I made a video on how to grow lemon from seeds and these guys are just doing so good and they're cute little plants. So they can enjoy the extra humidity as well. So I have them in here. And then I have some more begonia propagations, which are doing really awesome. And look at the iridescence on those guys. So those I grow from leaf cuttings and they're doing really good, so. And then back there, I just have some more leaf cuttings, which are all doing pretty good. And then a maiden hair fern. So that is that shelf. So here is an overview of the greenhouse. It has three different shelves and you can also put stuff on the bottom. And I actually also have things on the top, but they're not inside. So I'm not gonna count them, but this is a south-ish facing window and I have some grow lights right here to get this direction as well. But everything in here is doing really, really well. So I really, 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 really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I love every single plant that I put in my greenhouse and they all have a special place in my heart and a special place in my plant room because the greenhouse is like the hot spot for growth and awesomeness. So uh, yeah, <laughs> if you guys like my greenhouse, if you have any comments or tips or anything that you wanna add, please let me know down below. Again, my name's Jen. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and have a great day.